Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. So, we're on a hill. Um, we've just killed a bunch of rather poorly equipped raiders. And, is that a trailer? Let me get out my zoomy gun. It is a trailer. It's a trailer with raiders patrolling around it. Okay, we're going to pass on that. Now, we actually have a choice to make now because I remembered, um, after I got done recording the last episode, that you can actually... Um, you can do the, like, wait an hour, uh, without needing to sit down in Fallout 3, which means we can use that to autosave, um, which I'm actually okay with, because I can't do it in combat, which was the point of not using quick saves to actually save my game, um, apart from crashes, and also it means we can avoid having to recross a lot of dangerous ground. Also, because it costs us an hour of time, and the Wanderer's Edition adds, um, hunger and thirst and tiredness and all that, there's actually a bit of a trade-off there. So we could do that now, before we head into the junkyard, or around the junkyard, depending on what we find there. Um, or we could wait until we get to just outside Minefield. But I feel like this is probably a pretty decent place to wait for now. So we're going to do that real quick. There we go. Oh, hey. Nice and bright noon sun. All right, let's head down into the junkyard. I'm kind of tempted to check out that, uh... I don't know, let's... Where are the raiders? You know, it doesn't actually look like the raiders are on this side of the trailer, so we might actually be able to sneak over there and take a peek inside without having to deal with them. So why don't we give that a go? We probably don't need to be sneaking quite yet. I think they're not going to spot us from over here, considering they're not even rendering until I scope in and wait for a second. Let's try and get down this cliff without breaking our legs. Perfect. Now would probably be a good time to start sneaking. Although I, I've lost track of the raiders here. I probably should have gone a little bit further to the right so I could see higher. Not that it really matters. I think that ridge line ahead of us is in the way. Well, if that's the case, then at least the raiders won't be able to spot us, so, you know, that actually works out quite nicely. Also, there's some kind of crater over there that is giving off smoke. Which actually has wrecked cars in it. And, yeah, it's probably not worth checking out. I assume it's, you know, heavily irradiated and all that. Oh, that's combat. Okay, that's a, that's a gun. Hey, crippled left arm. Get your pistol out, get your pistol out. Oh, he's got a power fist. Didn't really help him, though. Oh, shit, my gun jammed. Man, this Chinese pistol is doing work. You, I don't like. Your gun sounds loud and scary. Oh, it's a big fucking revolver in it. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I hit him in the arm, so... I don't think he's very accurate, but neither am I, so oh, okay, I guess he's a little bit more accurate. Well, good thing we decided to autosave over here then. I think we'll leave that for now. Um Yeah. I, think that, that, I can't imagine there's anything well, I guess that guy had a power fist that maybe well it probably still is there actually, because the raiders exist where we are right now, which means they've already had their equipment decided. Nah, nah. We're just gonna carry on to our objective. I don't think it's worth wasting the bullets to get a power fist that I'm probably not gonna use. Because, you know, it would be ridiculously heavy, and I don't think I have that good unarmed skill, do I? Where's my unarmed? Ten. Yeah, no. Power fist is probably not the way to go there. Man, I don't think we can actually do it, but being able to get up on the, like, monorail tracks and actually get into one of the train cars would be really cool. Unfortunately, I'm fairly certain, if I remember correctly, that, uh, well, one, it's cut off at the end there, and two, I don't think you can actually climb these. I think you just kind of slide off them. Hang on, let's... Like, you can get up to the top, maybe? And then you kind of just... Oh, yeah. See, no, we can't actually walk up this. We just slide off the side when we try. Oh, no, here we go. This is an awfully precarious situation, though. Got to get yeah. away! They're burning everything! What? What? Who's burning They're what? They're all dead. Burned Grey Ditch right to the ground. Those 
things. They came out of nowhere. You've got to run. Run. What? What? Okay. Bye, pal. Um, I hope you recover from whatever psychosis you're experiencing. Um, where the hell is Great Itch? Well, I know where Great Itch is. Where the hell is Great Itch relative to where we are is the better question. We are just outside the junkyard here, somewhere. Great Itch is way down here. Wow, that guy traveled quite a ways to get to us. Well, good for him. Everybody should have a hobby. Hello. Oh, that's just the same guy again. I mean, do you want, like, directions to Megaton or something? Great Itch, it's burning! It's burning! Okay. Well, I'm sure you'll sort yourself out. Ooh, nice and overgrown. So there could actually be some neat stuff in here. And I think we can go in this... Dogmeat is unconscious. Ah, right. This is where you find Dogmeat. Um, he has probably just been knocked out by the two raiders that he kind of spawns fighting. Who I think are... Over this way somewhere. Let's see if we can't get a better view. I think they're on the other side of that blue car over there. Best to keep our gun handy just in case. Ah, no, I think they're over there actually. That looks kind of familiar. Warning radiation. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, yep, people. Alright, let's try and sneak our way over there. The good thing about Dogmeat being unconscious is it probably means we can't accidentally kill him. Because I don't think he's targetable while unconscious. So we could just try and lob some grenades over there. Although, I really don't want to risk it. For, for a couple reasons. Also, you know, it is just a teensy bit immersion breaking when you're like, Oh, I will save that dog by throwing a grenade at him. Just a little bit. So let's go see if we can pick those guys off without... I assume Dogmeat just stood back up, or they're shooting at me. But I don't think they're shooting at me. Dogmeat's unconscious. Yeah, they're shooting at Dogmeat. Can I get up on this bus? I can. Hey, Chump. Ow! Okay, Chump doesn't like it. Oh, I think I hit him in the arm. Okay, having my arm broken kind of sucks. The bus we were sitting next to exploded. It might actually still be on fire, because it might be bugged out slightly. Which is interesting. Anyways, let's give that another go. But this time, try not exposing ourselves to gunfire. Because it turns out that's a poor strategy. Huh. Our friend from Grey Garden didn't show up- or, um, Grey Ditch, sorry, didn't show up this time. That's kind of a shame. Not that I'm super concerned, because the whole Grey Ditch quest line is... Not actually that bad in Wanderer's Edition, if I remember correctly, but in regular Fallout 3, it's... Awful. Freaking fire ants take ridiculous amounts of damage. And now, let's go see... We can't rescue Dogmeat properly this time. You know, it just occurred to me, as I'm entering this gunfight for the second time... I don't actually have all that much health right now. Um, I maybe should have looked into doing something about that. I could still do something about that, actually. Hmm, that might, uh, be a bad plan. Ooh, there's stuff in there. Cool. Well, let's... Well, for one, we're gonna stay away from that boss. And for two, I'm gonna see if we can't sneak up on these guys. Talking about he's unconscious. Ah, crud, I can't see him from here. Okay, they can see me, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, oh, Bethesda. The physics. Fighting in an enclosed environment like that is... Does a little bit make me wish I brought the Chinese assault rifle, but... Such is life. I keep walking past this building, and I haven't actually checked inside it. I'll probably do that. Ah, oh, it's... Oh, okay, hello. You're a talent company person. That's, uh, makes me a little bit nervous. And Dogmeat's unconscious again, but whatever. Too busy, so busy, never stop. Okay. Interesting line delivery there. What about you? Speak to Mr. Littlehorn. Is this is what you all say? I'm sorry, I don't have time to talk to you. What are you guys typing? 
We can't help you. Only Mr. Littlehorn can help you. Sup? What do you need? This is the current home of Littlehorn and Associates. This is where we operate our little business. We dabble in this and that. I'm sure you've seen our work around the wasteland and haven't even realized it. We prefer to operate quietly, which is why we employ individuals such as yourself. I'm gonna go. Do good work out there. We're counting on you. Okay. Strange old man living in a junkyard. You have fun now. Now, let's go see about dog meat. Well, let's go see about killing these raiders without getting, you know, killed by cars. Which keeps happening for some reason. Time to engage sneak mode. And I'm actually going to try and get into that weirdly well lit. That works. I mean, you know, that was planned. Entirely planned. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. No car. No. No, 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 no. I'm staying far away from you. I'm wise to your little games. Okay, that hurt. Uh, not quite as much as previous attempts, but it still stung a little bit. And yeah, what about you? What are you even carrying? 223 pistol, jeez. 109 damage per shot. That would be, uh, what was dealing all that damage to us. Cripes is in good condition, too. I'm gonna take that. Um, and in exchange, my good friend, you may have this 32 pistol. Actually, I'm keeping the 32 pistol. You may have a cattle prod. And the 32 pistol, actually. Cause I, oh, wait, no, we don't need to pick up a fragment because we already have fragments. Haha. -ha. And I can still run. Alright. Can we locate dog meat in all the grass? Is the second part of this equation. There you are. With another dead raider. Hey, buddy. Aw, he's so cute. Alright, let's get through this dialogue. There we go. We now have a far superior dog. You are holding a grenade. I'm glad you did not get to throw that, because that probably would have done a lot of pain with all these cars around. Now, what is actually in the kind of well-lit train car over here? Also, where is Dogmeat's... Usually there's a traitor who is dead here, who is also with Dogmeat. I don't see him anywhere, though. It's kind of hard to tell in the grass. Oh, well. Not really any major concern of ours because our inventory is pretty full. I just want to see what's in here. There's a bed. This is actually a pretty nice place bed. We've got all sorts of cooking equipment. We've got a toaster. It's not plugged into anything. A fridge full of stuff. Man, sweet setup. Anything else in here? A pack of cigarettes. Can I pick that up? Damn it, that puts me over capacity. Ah, crud. They'll sell for a lot, too. Hmm. Do we have anything I can drop? Why am I carrying all these boar ears around? Get rid of those. There. All right, now that we've got dog meat with us, actually, um, probably don't want dog meat with us now that I think about it. As much as I enjoy his company, he is likely going to get, you know, shot doing this. Um, on the other hand, he's also somewhat likely to get shot running back to Vault 101, so... Wait, did you just... Okay, that was weird. Dog meat just had a line of dialogue there that wasn't him barking or panting. A little bit odd. Now, if we go over to the fence over here, we should be able to see Minefield. Or at least the area where Minefield is, if it hasn't rendered yet. That looks like it to me. That kind of collection of houses right in front of us. Let's see. So we are right on the top right corner, which would put us... Yep, that looks like Minefield. Okay, now we just kind of need to work out how to get over this barbed wire fence. Because I don't really want to go back to the other end of the junkyard and just walk around. Make the whole endeavor kind of pointless. 
Um, maybe we can climb on these cars and get over. Hopefully without the physics going insane and murdering us. Oh, there's a mole rat fighting a dog over there. Hmm. Okay, Bethesda physics. I'm trusting you just this once. Please don't murder me for it. I want to get up on the car. Thank you. And then get up on the second car. Aha. And then... Up. Ow. Okay. Not my best plan. Not my best plan by a long shot. But it did work. So I'm taking that. Um, and we're going to use a stim pack here. Hello. Are you guys raiders? You're raiders, aren't you? It's always raiders. Yep. Those are raiders. Right outside minefield. All right. Time to... Oh. Well, don't I feel stupid? Um, yeah, let's see if we can skirt around these guys, because I don't really feel like getting into another gunfight right now. Looks like we bypassed those raiders, at least. And I don't see anything else moving around here, which is good, because now might be another good opportunity to save real quick, and also to tell our friend Dogmeat to wait where he is so he doesn't step on a mine or get shot because you probably can't see him from here but there is a sniper in the top of that building up there who is going to make our life kind of unpleasant as we try and do this so we're going to spend another hour here Yeesh. I really if you thought Darker Nights in Fallout 4 was bad Nighttime in Wanderer's Edition is much, much worse. Like, it is not something I want to get caught up in. Um, fortunately, we're not... You know, the trip back to Megaton is not super long or anything. So I'm, I'm willing to spend a few more, you know, hours waiting than I would otherwise be. Now, can we see the playground from here? There, there it is. You can just see the swing set. That's where we need to get to. And it is not going to be... Super easy, although we can see the mines from here at least, which does make it slightly easier. We just need to somehow avoid getting... Oh, there's our sniper friend. Let's see him moving around up there. He is not only going to be shooting at us, he's going to be shooting the cars along the road to make them explode as we try and go up here. He is kind of a dick. Um, and I wish... We had enough small gun skill to try and take him out from this distance, but, uh... Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to pull him off. And actually, I've lost track of him, which is concerning. Alright, well, we got some mines to take care of before we progress any further. Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave the mines here, even though they are... Hang on, how much are mines worth? Is it worth, like, ditching a bunch of other stuff for the mines? 25 for half a pound? Oh, hell yeah. Alright, what can we drop for these? Myrler Claw. Yeah, get out of there. Um, scrap metal, yeah, ditch that as well. Okay, so we can get, you know, a few mines now. And I'm not carrying anything else, am I, that I should get rid of? No. Okay. Just keep an eye out for our sniper friend. You can't actually sneak up on him either, which I think is a little bit silly. Um, he will always spot you and start, like, setting off his traps, even if he doesn't actually spot you. Which is kind of a shame, but, you know, what can you do? It's all about the spectacle, ain't it? Alright, mine number one. I am taking you as well. Sniper bro is not quite shooting at us just yet. I'm pretty sure it's once we get close to this car up here is when he starts shooting. Like, he shoots at the car. He doesn't shoot at us. Okay. Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Back the hell away from that. That is going to explode big time, and I want no part of it. Um, well, let's pop a few shots at our sniper friend up there and see if we can't hit him, because he's actually... It was a very well-timed explosion, I'm going to be honest, because that looked really cool. Um, did startle me a little, but I'm okay. Let's take a few more shots at you, because if I can get you out of the picture, 
The good thing is the cars aren't just like set to go off on their own, which would have been the you know cheap and easy way to do this. He does actually shoot them to set them off. So if we can get rid of him, then dealing with the actual mines is not a problem. But actually hitting him from here with our rinky dink rifle and little small gun skill is going to be quite the challenge. Let's just burn an entire clip from him. Then, he doesn't seem terribly concerned about us. He probably knows just how bad of a shot I am. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, we're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, I guess, and hope he doesn't murder the crap out of us while we're doing it. Uh, wasn't there another mine here? Oh, right, the mine would have been okay. Now he's shooting at us. Ah, crud! I think that one was actually close to him. No, we're not hitting him at all from here. I can't even... The problem is I can't see where the shots are landing to know how much we're off by. Where are the other mines? I see another mine up there. I don't see any else along the road, so we're just going to book it for that one. And really, really hope this guy misses a lot of his shots. Oh, he actually hasn't noticed us. I don't know what he's shooting at. Oh, you know what must happened? We must have re-triggered uh, him shooting at the car thing. Oh, shit. There's grass all over there. Great. I can't see if there's any mines there. Fantastic. Good job, me. I've installed a mod that will kill me. I've installed a lot of mods that will kill me, actually. Alright, we're a little bit closer now. If we are patient here, we can maybe get a shot on him, and that will somewhat alleviate the issue. He just, he, he just left, apparently. He's gone. Okay. Um, because what I want to do, and what I don't want to do while he's here is just start kind of chucking grenades into the playground to set off the mines. Hello, Mr. Sniper. Oh, I see movement. I see... No, he's not coming out from around this corner. Crud. Alright, just try and shuffle a little bit closer without blowing ourselves up. Hello, another mine. I bet if we get close to this car up here, he's gonna... Mind. Oh, what I would not give for a proper sniper rifle. We can actually get a proper sniper rifle from this guy if we kill him. Decent chance he'll be broken, though. Alright. Give me that ammo and the money, please. Oh, right, we should drop all of our stuff for the mines again. Uh, what else can I drop, actually? I'm actually kind of tempted to drop the cattle prod now. Yeah, screw it. I'll ditch that for more mines. Um, stick to the knives. Hunting rifles we want. 32 pistols, yes. 223, yes. And what else did we drop? We dropped the Mirelert Claw and the Scrap Metal. There we go. Now we can get plenty of mines. Assuming we don't die horribly again. All right, Mr. Sniper Man, do your worst. There he goes. And now we wait, I guess. Yeah, he's just kind of standing there. Fuck it, we'll take some pockets out of him again. Maybe we'll get really, really lucky. You know, I'm actually kind of interested in knowing what our hit chance is from here. Can I vat? What is our hit chance? 2%. <laughs> uh, we're never going to hit him from here. Alright, let's go continue on our merry way and maybe be a little bit more careful of the mines this time. Ah, good. There's stuff exploding elsewhere. Just what we need. More explosions. Okay, so can we spot the mine that killed us last time? It was somewhere along the right side. I suspect near that lawnmower, but I have no way of actually proving that. Hang on, where... Well, there's a mine. What were we... We were, like, approaching the car, right? Okay, so... 
probably somewhere to the right side of that along the road. I'm going to try and shoot you again. I hope you don't mind. He's not noticing at all. Which is fairly impressive because I'm firing a decent number of rounds at him. He's just walking away. Okay. What a dick. Next mine. Got it. Yep, he's still just kind of walking around that there. He doesn't actually seem to have noticed us, which is interesting. Maybe they changed how that works in uh, Wanderers. Usually, at least, I'm almost positive in Vanilla Fallout 3, as soon as he starts shooting at the first car, he kind of notices you by default. Maybe I was wrong about that. Now, check for mines along the side of the road here. Oh, that tall grass makes me nervous. There's a mine, which is one we were looking at before. Crud. All this freaking plant matter is stopping me from seeing what's going on. Well, time, I suspect, for plan B. Grenades. That's not a grenade. Grenades. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to throw one, like, there. Blink. At. Can I even blow up mines with grenades? I'm going to throw one at the mine that we can see. Yeah, okay, cool. Also, the car's about to explode as well. So, with plan B confirmed, let's just start liberally sewing grenades through this... Oh, dear. That was almost really stupid of me. That was really stupid of me. Okay. Can I get up, please? Okay. Um, I have slightly crippled myself. We have medical supplies, though, so I think... Where's triage? Yeah, I would quite like to heal my arm. Ah, crud, that used up a stim pack. Can I heal my head? Do we have the materials for that? Because that would be... Fantastic. Yes, okay, good. So, we've fixed up our crippled limbs problem. And learned a valuable lesson about mines. And we're going to use our last stim pack here, because holy hell, we had two health left. And I'm just going to continue throwing grenades around the place, because I've learned literally nothing. Okay. I think we might be set to attempt and get into this playground now. At least I hope. If we step on a mine in here, I'm not going to know about it until after we've already lost a leg. Okay. That was loud. That was very loud. He still doesn't seem to have noticed us, though. Um, which I'm okay with. I don't know how... close to the playground... Do I need to get here? I'm in the oh, shit, he spotted me. No, he didn't. Oh, he was trying to shoot the car next to us. Okay. Hey, we got it. Alright, how many bullets do we have left? Is it worth taking a couple more shots at him from slightly close range? I'll take two more, unless he just leaves. Ah, dick. Uh, crud. I mean, if we can kill him, I kind of want his sniper rifle, but at the same time, probably not worth the effort. So why don't we just get out of here? We're just going to go back the way we came and head home and probably get uh, Doc whatever his name is to look at us. Wow, that stuff that we like dropped along the road here got completely scattered by all the explosions. Where the Marler Claw ended up. Because we dropped it, like, by that dead raider there. Although, dead raiders also moved a little bit. Damn. Bethesda Physics not trying to kill me for once. Alright, dog meat. Yeah. Let's get going. Good boy. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to have to wait for later. Because I'm all out of time for tonight. So, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.